is a victim of climate change. We know that. We are seeing extreme weather events which are crippling our economy. But we also know that we have a massive development challenge. We have to make sure that we can grow and we can do this without the cost of pollution. Now, this is where we need to look for smart ideas in which we have the advantage, the benefit of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but also seeing development. My one big idea would be the transformation of the mobility systems in our cities. We are seeing today that as cities grow, the dependence on private cars is also growing. With the dependence on private cars, we are seeing massive toxic air pollution. Now, in, in most cities, for instance, my own city of Delhi, only 20% of Delhi drives, but already our air shed is polluted. And the question is, where is the space for the remaining 80%? So the big idea would be to transform our mobility systems so that we can actually move people and not vehicles. But the fact is, we have to do this at scale. We are still talking about one bus here, one e-bus e here, a few metro lines here. That's not what will change the system. The change in the system will come when we can most conveniently take a bus, take a tram, take a train, walk, cycle. We can make sure that we can connect vast parts of our cities, particularly outlying areas, so that we can improve employment and livelihood benefits. There's a massive win-win opportunity for us. But it does mean doing this at scale. Now, this is where the huge opportunity is in, in India, because we have yet not motorized. Large numbers of people still take a bus, they walk because they're too poor to even take a bus. So we need to think about a mobility revolution in which we can make the mobil our, our mobility system so that it is convenient and modern enough for the rich, the people in the Mercedes to move to the bus or the tram or the metro and the people who cannot even afford a bus ticket to also use these systems and be able to transform their lives with it. Now, this has never really been done at scale other than in very few cities of the world. Singapore is one. Other cities are still grappling with the problem of both either local air pollution or transport related emissions are contributing very significantly to the problem of GHG emissions. This is the opportunity that we have to, to, to rethink, to reimagine, and to rework our way to the future. And if we do that, and I'm convinced we can and we must, we will be able to be that role model that can show how transformation is possible, not transition. Now, this is really the biggest challenge. Today, with climate change, we do not only have to walk the talk, we have to run the talk. That's the scale of the crisis. Now, that's the scale of the solution that we have to also implement.